I want to show you what's going on right now while I tell you what we've just learned about the suspect. The Pierce County Medical Examiner has identified him as 69 year old Willem Van Spronson of Vashon Island. He has a criminal history that included assault on a police officer and violating a no contact order for domestic violence. This evening, officers are serving warrants at his home on Vashon Island to collect evidence in this case. Now, there was a protest event outside here uh, last night and another was supposed to happen this afternoon. A few people who gathered out here believe he may have been at last night's event, but they're not sure why he would have come back here early this morning with a weapon. Shut down! Aye. Shut down! Aye. Shut it down! Shut it down! It was not the event they had planned for this day. Police tape kept crowds away from the Northwest Detention Center and plans to protest the ice sweeps that the Trump administration is planning for this weekend. On the opposite side of the tape down the road, Tacoma police and federal investigators tried to sort out the violence that played out here in the early morning hours. Investigators say it started with a 911 call because someone was throwing devices over the fence to try and start a fire. When police arrived, they saw a man with a rifle and said he was carrying a satchel. We don't know, um, you know, if, if he just was trying to set a trap you know, for officers, if he was trying to hurt people in the building. A car in the parking lot was torched and investigators say the suspect threw flares at a propane tank trying to make it explode. Ultimately, four officers opened fire, killing the man. The area around the facility had to be blocked off. It's just too much. There's just too much. We need the public. We need his base. Everybody to know that this is happening with our tax money. With our money, they are doing this. The Lights for Liberty Immigrant Solidarity event had to be postponed, and people coming here to visit loved ones were turned away. It's frustrating for activists who say they're trying to get more people to fight for those being detained. We have to be resilient and we have to continue fighting. We're not victims. We don't want anybody to come and save us. We can do it ourselves, but we need help, that's for sure. We need support. And it was a frustrating day for the people who had planned to come out here and have their event. The rally that was planned for today has been postponed until 1230 tomorrow. At this point, no word on when investigators will be done out here. We're live in Tacoma. Amy Marino, King 5 News.